so hello all so welcome to this new video so as you have support uh, shown us the huge support for our model paper solutions so now we are going to provide you all some of the important steps which you need to learn before giving the exam of electromagnetic theory okay so i'm um, we are going to discuss some of the important questions which you need to be studying before going for exams in order to get minimum marks okay so in this video we need to be we are going to discuss all the important concepts all the important uh, concepts related problems everything so stay tuned watch till end don't skip this video of all the five modules some of the important concepts which you need to be learning before going to the exams okay as you know that uh, from after two days we are having the exam first exam that is electromagnetic theory okay so in first module we have an important concept related to coulomb's law okay so this coulomb's law we need to be studying this is one important concept okay because it might be they might be asking one uh, coulomb's law in vector form okay this is the vector form derivation of coulomb's law you need to be knowing along with that all the units you need to be mentioning okay because this carries one or two marks if you want to score complete six marks or seven marks along with the di diagram all the representations uh, axis representation uh, statement relationship mathematical relationship and its relationship with the respect to all the vectors you need to be writing it okay so this is one important question from first module that is coulomb's law so let's see one more important concept so this is the next important concept of uh, from module 1 that is electric field intensity okay its expression okay and related to this expression they are going to ask they are going to ask many many problems okay if they ask to prove the formula for electric field intensity uh, uh, in a point uh, in point in a, due to a single point charge or electric field intensity due to several charges okay so this is the uh, notes you need to be writing it you can pause the video and you can refer it if you want till here okay if they ask it together they might be asking it for 6 to 7 marks okay again the pictorial representation all the representation of all the point charges vectors along with the uh, necessary formulas and all the uh, necessary not no notations you need to be writing it down okay this concept is again very important it might they might be asking this for uh, five to six marks okay from module one till now we have covered coulomb's law electric field intensity so let's see one more important concept so this is the next uh, important concept that is various kinds of charge distributions okay so mainly we are having three kinds of charge distributions one is linear charge density its definition is charge per unit length Another one is surface charge density. Its definition is charge per unit surface. And the third one is volume charge density. Uh, definition is charge per unit volume. And these are the representations mathematically that is linear charge density or line charge density that is rho L. Surface charge density rho S. And volume charge density rho V. Okay. So this uh, might they they might be asking this for four to five marks that explain the different kinds of charge distributions. Okay, so you need to be writing three kinds of charge distributions: its definition, mathematical representation, and the terms. Okay, notations. All of them you need to be writing along with the unit. Okay, this unit also carries a half or one mark. If you want to score full marks, these all the things you need to be writing thoroughly. Okay, yeah, we have discussed three concepts. Let's discuss one more. So this is one more important concept you need to be knowing that is electric flux or electric flux density. Okay, okay. Uh, the definition and these are the four, three of the properties of electric flux density. That is, it is independent of medium. Magnitude of electric flux is equal to magnitude of charge from which it originates. If a point charge is enclosed in a sphere, then the electric flux must pass perpendicular to the surface of the sphere. All the expressions that is uh, electric flux density, this is the relationship of electric flux density that is D is equal to psi by A. Okay, so this expression you need to be writing and also electric flux is noted, noted as psi is equal to surface integral of D dot dS. Okay, where dS is differential surface and uh, uh, psi is the electric flux. Okay, so again this is one more important concept. So now let's discuss some of the important concepts of module 2. Okay. That is first important concept and it's a must must question. It is repeated many many times in the question paper. Okay. Okay. So again I'm telling you don't skip this video. Please watch. This concept is very important. That is Gauss law. Okay. It might be coming for 6 to 7 marks. Okay. It's statement, mathematical representation, pictorial representation, 
and all the necessary terms along with the some of the few statements in order to start the derivation then all the uh, necessary derivations along with the final der expression that is psi is equal to q okay we need to prove psi, that psi is equal to q that is the uh, the net outward flux coming out of the closed surface is equal to the charge enclosed okay this is the proof okay so this is the sure question and they might be asking this for six to seven marks okay so this you need to be study before going to exam so let's discuss one more concept one more important concept is divergence okay they might be asking the definition of divergence along with the some of the necessary equations so these are the things you need to be writing or for definition of diver divergence necessary equations okay then again a few of the limitations taking del delta v tending to zero okay for this equation that is surface integral of d dot ds divided by delta v in order to get the relation del dot d is equal to rho v okay also uh, one more important question is developing an expression for divergence in rectangular coordinate system okay so this already we have discussed it in our uh, uh, concept video okay you might you can refer it okay we have uh, we are we would be providing you the uh, video tags in the top right of your screen many many video tags are available one by one you can click them and watch them okay with those who have not watched it so let's discuss one more important concept so these are the set of formulas for divergence of d in different coordinate systems okay so in order to solve problems okay in rectangular coordinate system this is the expression of divergence of d in cylindrical coordinate system this is the expression and in spherical coordinate system this is the expression okay so those who don't know and those who are not having this uh, notes you can note it down okay these are the three different formulas for three different coordinate systems okay these uh, formulas using these formulas we are going to solve problems also okay so let's discuss one more concept so this is uh, one more important concept in uh, module 2 that is line integral or the derivation of work done uh, in moving a single point charge okay that is the relationship is given as w is equal to minus q into e dot surface integral from b to a that is final initial position to final position dl vector okay so this here you can refer it okay also it is available in our channel we have separately explained this derivation for you all and this is the important question and this is a multi multiple times repeated question this they might be asking it for uh, seven to eight marks okay all the pictorial representation and the uh, uh, explanation along with mathematical equations and all are necessary so please note it down okay and this is also very important and multiple times repeated question okay you, if you want you can check the four to five previous year question papers this question is multiple times repeated that is derivation of continuity equation okay that is continuity of current okay so this is the explanation here the relationship is given as i is equal to surface integral of j dot ds using the current density the continuity equation the principles of uh, conservation and all of them right note it down so these are the expressions which we get from divergence theorem just uh, interchange some of you of the terms and try to solve it okay and obtain the expression for continuity equation that is given as del dot j is equal to minus dou by dou t of rho v okay so this is the continuity equation here so please uh, you can if you before going to exam you, the, this concept you need to be studying very well okay that is continuity equation okay so till now we have seen module 1 and module 2 important stuffs so i am just going to recall it so in module 1 coulomb's law electric field intensity electric flux density all of them we need to be studying from second module gauss law divergence continuity equation work done uh, derivations and divergence uh, different uh, formulas for different coordinate systems okay so let's get to module 3 now poissons and laplace equation okay the important question is derivation of poissons and laplace equation using the divergence okay so this also we have discussed it in our conceptual videos those who have not referred it you can refer it down this is very very important question and also multiple times repeated they might be asking this for five to six marks okay this is one sure question okay so you need to be studying this derivation of uh, poisson's equation and laplace equation poisson's equation is given as del square v is equal to minus rho v by epsilon and when del square v is equal to zero we say that it is a laplace equation and also the, the representation of poisson's or laplace equation in different coordinate systems that's this is in rectangular coordinate system this is in cylindrical coordinate system and this is in spherical okay those who have not noted it down you can note it down okay and also to find the capacitance uh, using uh, the parallel plate capacitor cylindrical capacitor also spherical capacitor any uh, in three in three of this any one derivation would be confirmedly asked okay 
in, and they might be changing the boundary condition here so here in this case the boundary condition mentioned is at z is equal to 0 v equal to 0 at z equal to d v equal to v naught okay so uh, using this boundary condition we have solved uh, this problem okay, in the concept videos but uh, they might be changing the boundary condition in the question and the solving technique would be remaining the same okay you might be considering the rectangular coordinate system any one side you can consider and you can solve it okay yeah the final expression of capacitance we need to be getting it okay this is in uh, find capacitance using parallel plate one more we have that is capacitance of cylindrical capacitor using a laplace equation this time we need to be considering in cylindrical coordinate system okay and taking uh, uh, one at a time by considering other two terms as zero okay and solve it and we will be getting the expression of uh, c as uh, 2 pi epsilon 2 pi epsilon l divided by ln of b by a in case of rectangular coordinate system this is the expression we get that is c is equal to epsilon a by d okay and also in spherical coordinate system in spherical coordinate system considering two concentric circles and putting del square v in spherical coordinate system taking one at a time and solving it okay that is again the same thing we need to integrate with respect to r integrating all of this stuff again one this remains the same finding the constants and substituting back the constants in the equation of v then again the is, uh, finding the efi using the technique e is equal to minus del v and solving it we would be getting one expression for uh, capacitance that is 4 pi epsilon divided by 1 by b minus 1 by a okay so these are the three important derivation out of these three any one would be fixed okay that's compulsory you need must be learning these three that is one in rectangular coordinate system cylindrical and spherical in these three any one would be surely asked so please be prepared for this it might be they might be asking this for seven marks okay so this cause this biot severs law is not so important but the ampere's law in point form okay in differential form point form we need to be studying okay it very well okay ampere's law so this is one important question they might be asking ampere's law in differential form okay so these concept videos we have already done it in our uh, when we are doing the concept lecture sessions you can uh, see check our playlist and you can uh, note it down okay so let's get to one more important concept so this is uh, again one more important concept in module 3 that is stokes theorem okay Stokes theorem you need to be uh, studying it okay pictorial representation mathematical from Ampere's law okay this is the relation we got del cross h is equal to j and we need to be uh, for deriving for Stokes theorem equation that is line integral of h dot dl is equal to surface integral of del cross h ds okay so this is the Stokes theorem okay this is very important and they might be asking it for 5 to 6 marks okay so yeah please study this as well so in module 4 this is the very very important question and multiple times repeated question in the previous question papers that is force due to a moving charge okay so this derivation is again very very important force due to a moving charge from module 4 okay see the derivation here we, we have already discussed it in our concept videos you can refer it this is very very important force due to a moving charge okay please study this and also one question related to magnetic boundary conditions will also be asked in the exam okay the question related to magnetic boundary conditions they might be asking this for uh, six to seven marks okay this is also multiple times repeated question so again uh, before go, uh, going to write the exam this question you need to be studying thoroughly that is magnetic boundary conditions from module four okay so let's discuss few of the important uh, concepts in uh, module five okay that is again this concept of faraday's law Again, in module 5, we have two concepts which you need to be studying before writing the exam. Okay, you have to study that. Okay, rest other things, if you don't study, let it, it's, uh, it, it, you can neglect them. But these two concepts are very important. One is Faraday's law and other one is Maxwell's equations. Okay, those two are the fixed questions from this module that they might be asking here. So again, Faraday's law, all the equations, explanations, the required explanation and the use of Lenz law in this explanation, derivation, relationship of the charge with respect to electric flux, okay, and also using the Gauss law derivation to explain, express the Maxwell's equation in point form as well as integral form for Faraday's law, okay, you need to be knowing, noting down and the relationship obtained that is time changing magnetic field produces electric field, okay, so this relation you need to be obtaining, okay. So this is one important question Faraday's law it might be coming for uh, 6 to 7 marks and this is a must study question okay this question you cannot neglect it at all in this module first while we are studying this module study this first okay this is one uh, 
what to say max grab question okay it's one cash grab question where you can study this and you can put around 8 marks in your pocket easily okay if you write this table right all the four uh, equations from ampere's law faraday's law gauss law of electrostatics gauss law of magnetic statics in integral form and point form six marks definitely you can score okay along with that all the unit representations okay if you write this much the uh, easily you can score 6 to 7 marks okay and if they ask in uh, around uh, 8 to 10 marks this question what you need to be doing is the same Maxwell's equation you need to be representing for time changing fields okay that is harmonically varying fields in point form as well as integral form by changing the value of e as e naught e to the power j omega t okay then again substituting the values of e as e naught e to the power j omega t and getting the equations for all the four equations in point form as well as integral form okay so this also we have discussed it in our uh, while we are doing the concept sessions you can refer in our playlists okay so this was the important these are the very very important concepts so we have one more important concept in this module 5 so uh, yeah this is that important concept again you need you cannot be skipping this okay this is a very lengthy derivation yet very important one because this is a multiple times repeated question so this actually its weightage you can say that it's, uh, it is of 10 to 12 marks in general but they have reduced it to 7 to 8 marks because nowadays in the question paper they won't be giving any marks related to 12 marks and all okay the maximum weightage for a single question is 8 marks only but this derivation is very important related to uniform plane wave okay we have done this it consists around four pages okay you can refer our uh, playlist and uh, refer this video okay it consists of uh, four pages all the dimensional calculation of wave equation in uh, mag in, in terms of magnetic field also in terms of electric field okay then all the derivation about the intrinsic impedance in free space okay all of things you need to be writing when they ask to show that the uniform plane wave is, is traverse in nature okay these are all the things you need to be writing and the expression for uh, intrinsic impedance in free space whatever we get that is 376.7 ohms and also intrinsic in impedance in the conducting medium expression is ey by hz is equal to c into mu naught where c is the velocity of propagation of light and mu naught is the uh, relative or uh, sorry absolute permeability okay so this is that important question you need to be writing okay so these were some of the important stuff which you need to be studying before you write the exam of electromagnetic theory hope you uh, uh, get the benefit by seeing this video okay and uh, whatever concepts i've told right if you study this much i can i guarantee you that you will pass in the exam okay you should not neglect any of the concepts which i told in this video so please like share subscribe also comment down uh, your opinion about uh, how you have uh, understood the model paper solutions and some of the questions are pending i know that because i have a doubt in whether the questions in that model paper are correctly printed or not okay so that's why i have not provided the solutions for that as well okay so if i get the solution i would be providing it okay within a few amount of time so that's all so please like share subscribe and uh, all the best for the exams guys okay study well